Claw shot. Mm. Claw shot. Link. I don't know. I thought that'd be a funny intro. Hello, fellow gamers. Welcome back to another episode of The Legend of the Twilight Princess. My Wiimote. Wiimote. Work with me. Welcome back for more Legend of the Twilight Princess. Kevin 2010 here, which I already said. Um, in the last episode, we got the double claw shots, which is cool. And we beat the mini boss, which would technically mean we're halfway through this dungeon, but we still haven't gotten the two hard pieces in this dungeon. Or even the, uh... And we haven't even gotten the uh, postals yet, which there's also two in the dungeon of, which I still haven't pointed that out, even though we're the third episode in. I think this is a cool idea, what would you do here? We... There we go. And then we're back into this room. I'm going to go quickly grab the dungeon map, though, in this episode, because I was so... I'm kind of ticked at myself that I didn't get it. You can uh, Z-target these, as you know. Which helps a lot. Because if you stayed on those too long, you would actually fall, and, you know, falling ain't good. Let me tell you, falling is not good. Not good, audience. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Alright, and then when you're down here, you're going to want to do the same double claw shot thing again, except there's diabobas in the way. Now, what you can do is if you hit their uh, vine, they'll just fall down, like what they're sitting on. I suggest you aim for it rather than aim for them. He's aiming for them and won't do anything. There we go. I was going to say, I'm like, can I get this guy, please? I'll be very careful when aiming for it, though, because you might accidentally uh, lock on to, you know, the thing. Like, the thing we're trying to grab onto, And then you'll just be, like, right next to him, like, oh, hey, what's up? My bad, because you can't use your sword or anything. Which is kind of weird. Anyway, so now back in this room, we can head back this way. This is where we came from. So I am going to go grab that... Uh, dungeon map just because you people are all gonna be like you never got the dungeon map what's wrong with you you're so stupid I'm sorry for what you just heard wait who silly Kirby you're so stupid that's what it's from it's from Nintendo Nintendo I think my favorite part of that uh, from Nintendo is the part with the uh, yellow rupee. No, not the part with the yellow rupee. The part with the uh, what is it? The part with the toad in the boo house. He's like, hey, buddy. Huh? I don't know. It's hilarious. You have to see it. I definitely suggest checking it out. Uh, just type in Nintendo, I'll probably... Well, actually, I'm telling you how to spell it, because if I... If I didn't tell you how to spell it, I'd probably just, you know... If I didn't tell you how to spell it, I'd... I'm telling you to spell it because I'm too lazy to put a link in the description. That's what I'm trying to say, but I'm very stupid and I can't explain myself sometimes. Anyway, so now that we got the dungeon map, which you people were probably complaining about... As you know, I record the dungeons all in one sitting, so if you send me a message during the dungeon and then I don't talk about it in the next ones. I'm sorry. But keep in mind, that's what I do. And yeah. I generally like reading your comment. Well, I usually always love reading your comments. Even if they're like troll comments. Like if people are taking the time to troll me. It sort of means something, doesn't it? And now we can actually use this claw shot for the greater good. This double. The claw shot of double. Yes, yes. Double the claw shot power. Link, now with double claw shots. I don't know. Link should have an action figure of him with two double claw shots. And that actually work. And he, like, Spider-Man's around the place or something. I don't know. Yes, Spider-Man is, is now a verb. In case you didn't know. Uh, you're going to want to lock under these P-hats. And there we go. Yeah, they kind of use the double claw shots all over the place in this dungeon. So, yeah, be prepared to hear the sound effect of them going a lot, because it's sort of all they do. Um, yeah, so we're now we're back in this room, which if you remember was where we got the small key to get to the other side. Yeah, this place is very redundant that way. I don't like it for that reason. I just like the shape of this dungeon. Well, I don't even like the shape of it, I just... I like the concept with the double claw shots. But they kind of use it too much, and obviously the thing I hate most about this place is the music. The music is just probably the worst music ever in Zelda. 
Like, I'm guessing it would sound cool, but I mean, it doesn't go anywhere. It's the same thing. It's the most, like, drowning thing ever. It's like they knew they, were, they wanted to make this dungeon very, like, arduous and slow and annoying. And, and that's what it is. So, I guess they nailed that one. Good job, Nintendo. Um, you can jump across to this one. We are getting close to the first heart pieces, though, I'm, let me tell you. Blue Ruby. Um, blue Ruby! Anyway. Um, some blue chews. At least they look blue. No, those, I think those were purple. I don't know. I can't make up my mind with colors. I'm not good with colors. I'm not colorblind or anything. I'm just being silly. Uh, where do I go? Do I jump down? I have a feeling I jump down. Maybe I claw shot down. Maybe that makes more sense. Uh, is this where I want to go? Yes, this is where I want to go. Because you want to knock those guys out. Same strategy as before. Aim for their uh, vines. Up. Oh. See? <laughs> that was the coolest falling thing ever. Like, <laughs> um, for those of you who play Brawl. Oh, I really have to go through this whole thing again? Well, I can talk about what I was going to talk about. Um, <laughs> I'm not schizophrenic. Um, for those of you who play Brawl, I suggest you try using uh, uh, King Dedede's neutral air sometimes. It is the most derpiest, like, jump thing ever. Basically, you just jump without holding any directions on the joystick. Um, it's, it's very, it's very hilarious. It's like the derpiest, like, <laughs> looking thing ever. Although, the thing I hate about DDD in that game is his voice does not sound like the DDD from, uh, does not sound like, uh, DDD from, uh, Kirby Superstar, which is by far my favorite Kirby game. Probably. I do like Crystal Shards on the 60 on the N64. That was fun too. Wait a minute. This is a Zelda game. Why am I talking about this sort of stuff? Um. Okay. So they're back up there. And right for their vine. And right for their vine. There we go. Now that we're now that we're back to where we were. Took me a good little while, but I was talking about something. So I guess that makes up for it. You hit that. Link turns around on his own, which is oh wow. Oh, I did not know that. That is so cool. Link actually, I was controlling him while I was doing that. I did not know you could do that. I think that's actually a glitch in the game. That is cool though. That was awesome. Oh man, I'm sorry that I'm freaking out about this, but that was actually really cool. Um, yeah, yeah. Anything else I can do? Maybe over, oh wait, I can just clash it over there, can I? Yeah, right there, yeah. Okay, and is there anything over there? Let's not go finding out, because I... I know where the heart pieces are, and I know where the postals are, so I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway, so we see the gigantic dino face thing. Ow. I wanted to kill you, but then I ended up hitting you. Okay, so now he's going to explode. I'm going to get some bombs out. Good thing I bought some. I don't know why. I just, something about the look of those lips is just really weird. Because they have, like, lips around it. I don't know. Explosion. Shrivels up. And we'll be getting a nothing, I bet. Yep, didn't think so. The one thing I always found weird, we're actually standing on, like, a grating right now, as you can see. Because you can kind of see through it. But there's grass on it. I don't think that's possible. And that was not a smart idea. Get out of here. You're going to want to grab your double claw shots again kill this guy before he does anything to you. Um, I know there's somewhere we can lock onto around. Get away from me! Anyway. Get away from me! You're touching me! You're fogging the window! That's not me! I, it's condensation! It's on the outside! I don't know. I'm trying to quote everything I can now. Anyway, so this room... Sort of annoying. It's, uh, it's actually like the opposite of the gigantic room. This... Uh, this place is actually symmetrical to an extent. Like, it's not perfectly symmetrical, but it's slightly symmetrical. Don't like this part, because it makes me uneasy. Luckily, Link will always grab on if he's near something. He won't just jump off hilariously. And if you open this, you will get some arrows. I'm assuming we're going to need them. I guess I could use it. Whoa, I did not want to roll there, let me tell you. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to want to do is we actually want to come over here. 
Can I come up here? I don't think I can, actually. He actually wanted to... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay. Get out of here. Okay. That was a close one. Wait, you know what? I should just check ahead. Okay. Seems pretty clear. Except there's a dino bobber right there. I can tell because I can see him. You ever get that moment where a song just pops into your head and then you want to sing it? Even though it's a song that can't be sung? Well, it doesn't matter. Like... That's not that's not that's not what I'm trying to ask you, but I just got the battle theme from uh the boss theme from uh Yoshi's Island stuck in my head. Like the with the camera with the camera coming out of that thing's mouth, but we got the first hard piece in this dungeon. Finally. I know it took me a while, but I finally got it. And we finally have full uh full hearts again, so we can finally use that great slash. Get oh yeah, wait, he can't he has to come down first. Right. You know what? I won't even bother killing you. You ain't worth my time. And now that I said that, I'm going to reference Power Rangers. Power Rangers uh, Time Force, if you remember that one. That was like probably the last one I kind of watched religiously. And I, I probably, if, and a lot of you are probably going to like take the time to be like, when did that one come out? Dude, you were like in grade six. Why are you still watching Power Rangers? You know what? Power Rangers are cool, okay? I don't care what any of you say. Power Rangers were bad ass. Yeah, that's right. I said the A word. What you gonna do about it? Where am I trying to go? I know. I, fr I hate this room so much. Got the hard piece in it already, so that's that's good. Uh, Don't like this. Don't like this at all. There we go. Um. Oh, wait. I just go over there, don't I? That looks like it makes a lot of sense to go over there. Oh, uh, that's probably too high. Nope, it's not. Yeah. And then can I lock onto this middle one? Nope, it's too far away. Um, I can lock onto that one. Oh, sweet, I can actually, like, Z target onto it, too. We. Okay. Uh, ugh. Yay. And lock onto that. And let go. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. What was. Th Whoa, what are you doing here? I actually was not ready for that. That was, like, the last thing I was expecting. Even though I've done this dungeon before. Get out of my way. The Zolfos. I did it. And we get a purple rupee. That's a big thing to come out of someone, let me tell you. Um. Yeah. Jesus. That was kind of scary. But now we're in an outside portion of it. I actually kind of like this area. So next time on The Legends of the Twilight Princess, we will be continuing through the sky, sitting in the sky, and... We'll probably get the next heart piece and the next, uh, and probably both postals. So I'll see you guys all next time.